Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video with us, hanging out with us today. This isn't not a hunting video. Right, we're just walking in the woods and hanging out. And yeah, we see the weirdest stuff, you know, this time of year in the fall. So you never know what you're going to run into. So <laughs> such an idiot. Watch where you're going, you moron. That's the kind of thing that you do when you... At least you're not holding the gun. <laughs> no, at least I'm not holding the gun. <laughs> so those are the kinds of things you do when you sell for yourself right off the cliff. So um yeah so we're just gonna walk around in the woods we we always come across the coolest things like i was saying so we're way up in north northeastern minnesota um grouse hunting is here we've got a few grouse so we just have the gun see if we get lucky and shoot a grouse as we're checking things out in the woods if not no big deal not a hunting video so hang tight we'll show you some cool things as we come across them um yeah so see you in a minute All right, this is really cool. We gotta check this out. We're gonna go hike down there in a second. It's pretty interesting. St. Louis River in the Superior National Forest. Check that out. All right, we're gonna go putz around in those rocks. Maybe we'll find something cool in there. All right, hold on. Let's get down there. Ooh, I'm scared. Hurry up, slowpoke. Selfie myself right into there. Yeah, Angel got a picture of a pretty interesting rock. Looks like a petroglyph. I don't know. I don't know. It could be random markings. It could be something interesting. Okay, so let's head to our next spot. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna go see if we can find some moose. All right, that's where we're headed next. Be back in a sec. Well, apparently even way out in the middle of the woods, you have security cameras watching you, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to keep quiet and see if we see any moves, but came across a little bit of wolf poo for you. Best moose call. You guys see any moose? Well, it's kind of warm out. It's about noon. They're probably taking a nap. Yeah, this isn't the best time of day, no. really. When you think about it. Right. It's just gorgeous out, though. Perfect day. Yeah, if we were here in the morning or evening, it would be better. Yeah. We could pitch our tent right here. <laughs> we could sleep on here. We could sleep on here. So we were here. When was it? Three, four days ago? Yeah. Yeah, so we were here a few days ago after work doing a little grouse hunting and there were some fresh moose tracks um, all over the place and one of them was a nice big, nice big set of bull moose tracks. You can always tell if it's a bull because it has those two little dots 
back there behind the, the hook track where the cows and uh, the cows don't have that. So it's a good indication and that set of tracks is huge. All right, so we're gonna roll back to the vehicle and maybe see what else we can find. All right, here we go. Give us a full good hour to get back to the vehicle. See if we can get a good video of it at a distance here. Is that a great horned? My turn? All right. My turn. Yeah, we stopped. Got a cup of coffee and some snacks. Taking a little break. We came across this railroad. Careful. Just throwing steel balls at me. Came across this railroad bridge. It's really cool. But look at this. So, see those? That's steel. And it's just everywhere. Here, I'll show you. Let's get up on the other side. <laughs> I know, it's like walking on quicksand. It's like walking on, it's like walking in marble. So here's the dealio. This is, these train tracks go from the steel mines in Minnesota out to Lake Superior and then the the steel is essentially sent in barges and sent through the Great Lakes into the Atlantic Ocean and wherever they go I don't know where they go but all throughout these train tracks it's all you see man so the rumor has it and it's true everybody that grew up in this area they are the best slingshot shooters, most accurate slingshot shooters in the world. So that's why. Yeah, they're moss filled just like this big beam. Boy, your orange shirt just glows in there. Cool. Rocks are kind of slimy and slippery. We're going to go in there. Oh, echo. Probably snakes in there. Yeah, check this out. So we're just parked and we're gonna go down another trail and we stumbled across this. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's definitely old. See a bunch of steel bars there threaded on the end. Looks like, looks like it's the internal is Definitely brick, obviously, and then cut rock, cemented in. Hmm. I don't know how old this is. There's a lot of logging that oh, fall down. There's a lot of logging that went on in this Krieger National Forest here. Oh, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, I suppose. So. This could be a remnant of some sort of logging camp or foundation or what, I don't know. 
Oh, I certainly think this is worth maybe getting the metal detector out, doing some metal detecting. I mean, these bricks, if you look at them here, some of you might know this more than me. I don't really see any sort of markings on them. I don't know if they're made by hand or what. So I also see over here, there's like a pit right there. So I don't know if that's another, if that's another old building foundation or if it's a old garbage pit or what it is. So we are going to have to come back here when the leaves are down. We'll poke around in the woods. Maybe there's some other foundations back in there. So we're coming out of the woods here, getting to the end of the day, raining a little bit. It's still nice out though, it's gotta be 65. Um, what did we do at the end here? Went for a little bit of a grouse hunt. Shot a woodcock. Angel's mad at me. They're in season just like a grouse is. I've never eaten woodcock though, so hopefully it's good. But what was really interesting about five minutes ago, so we walked all the way down this trail, I've turned around, we're heading back. As we're heading back, we walk through just like a whiff of a stinky dog smell. So maybe a coyote or a wolf or something crossed our trail and God, we could smell it. It smelled like a stinky dog. It could but be a bear too. Grizz, yeah, it could be a bear, who knows, but definitely a stinky dog smell. Yeah. So now Angel's looking around saying, we can oh. <laughs> No. All right, so we've had a long day. We've gone a lot of miles today. So we're gonna head back to the vehicle. Um, go get this bird cleaned up. Maybe have it for a, dinner yum yeah so all right man so thanks for checking out the video with us um we'll see you guys next time